Hey guys, welcome back! It's Dress Up Thursday! Today's theme is show your smallest and your biggest baby. Dolly is the biggest reborn I have. And Bridget's the smallest reborn I have. She might be made out of clay, but she's been painted, which makes her reborn. Then the biggest vintage dolls I have are Henry and Heather. The smallest vintage doll I have are these baby dolls right there. Pepper is the biggest silicone doll I have. And here is the smallest silicone baby I have. Before we get to the box opening, the theme for next week's Dress Up Thursday is Under the Sea. So whatever belongs under the sea, however that fits for you, that is the theme. If you don't have anything with under the sea theme, you know, stuff that belongs in the ocean or you could even do stuff at the beach, then do the colors blue and green. Make sure to tag me on Instagram and use the hashtag dress up Thursday or post your photos to the Facebook status I make on Thursday and I will grab them there and share them all in my following video. We got a new reborn baby available on the website let me show you this cutie this is like what it would look like when a baby arrives to you they come with a diaper on their head for extra protection to their artwork look at her isn't she so adorable there's a baby in that box we got a box opening how fun i'm so excited for you guys to meet the new baby i think you're gonna love it First item out of the box, we got a bottle. Yes, perfect, we need these. I don't know if we really need bottles. Some may call it an addiction. Some may just call it an obsession. I just call it living life, man. Let's see what we got next. Another bottle, this is perfect. Oh, I have never seen these diapers before. Pura, does that mean they're size two? If they're size two, they look kind of small. Got a few diapers there. Oh, pacifier, this is perfect. I love it, we don't have one of these. It's by Itsy Ritzy Sweetie Pal. How cute, look at this little baby rattle. That's so adorable. We're having a boy. How cute is this little outfit? It's like perfect for the beach. We got the bus, the VW wagon bus, whatever you call that. I don't know, it's a VW bus, not a wagon, duh. And we got the surfboard on top of it, yeah. We got that cute little bunny romper. I love the blue. Look at the bunny, it has little blush cheeks. This little muslin two-piece set, it's like a mint green color, gingham style, that is cute. Born to be a star, nope, a hero. How cute is that little Spider-Man set? I love it. We're almost to the baby. I've never used one of these before. It's like a little sleeping sack. I don't have any of these for the babies. Let's get this baby out. Let's get this baby out of his blankets. Oh, wow. This baby's in another blanket. How cute, little Dumbo. Get this baby out of this. Wow, we're in another blanket. All right, let's unroll that baby. Oh my gosh, yet another blanket, but this time a sleep in sack. And wow, we got ourselves a womb baby. It's the best of both worlds, a box opening and a womb baby. I had to do them both because I had you guys voted and so many of you said I love both, the box opening and the womb baby. So here we are, we have ourselves a womb baby. Look at that, oh my gosh. Look at that sweet baby how cute is the baby time to get that baby out we're about to get really dr craigslist right now because i don't want to go searching for my exacto knife so we're going to use this paring knife <laughs> wish us luck uh i don't even know if it oh it's actually working out just as well as the exacto knife the exacto knife gives us trouble 
And here we are. We're cutting through pretty good. About to birth out our new baby boy. Come on, little baby boy. Time to come out and meet the world. Oh, your head looks, your neck looks broken, son. Son, that neck looks broken. Oh my gosh, look at it. We have a new baby. Yay. How many times have I had my do this doll in my collection? Not this doll. I've made it again. But if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I have had this doll several times in my collection. We're going to put this diaper on him. And then I love this bunny romper. We're going to put it on the baby. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I finally found it on clearance. It's going to look so cute on him. So this baby doesn't have a poof. It is going to get a poof. So um, its poof will grow in later. We don't have the right color for... Um, the baby, the brown that we have is too light. Carol bought some mohair, so we're waiting to see when she gets that. We're waiting to see what color that is before we order some for him. But eventually, he will have a rooted poof just right now. He doesn't. He still has some growing up to do. As Jackie says, he's poofless. He's also poopless right now, too. So he's poofless and poopless. But I have not thought of a name for him yet. Um, when I had this baby in my collection, I actually had twins once. And I had them as Jacob and Jenna. Then I've had the baby just by itself as um, Faith. And I know I've had it again before. I think this is like my fourth time having this doll in my collection. So I don't know what I'm going to name him. I honestly have not given any thought to a name for him. So if you feel like you have a name you would like to suggest, feel free to comment down below. And oh my gosh, isn't he absolutely adorable? Let's go ahead and take his pacifier off. I've got some great videos I want to do. Jackie gave me some really cool ideas. So I've got some really cool videos to be coming up. This is like a toy, I guess, for it. Like a, I don't know, a suity thing. We'll use it for now. I don't know if we're going to end up keeping it on in the long run. But it'll be cute right now for him. Oh my gosh, here we go. This pacifier. And we have our deepest apologies to Head. She absolutely hates this kit. Actually, you know what? Let's give her some more credit. She likes the kit as long as it has a pacifier in its mouth. She cannot stand its ga gaping, open, wide mouth. And, and I agree. It's not very realistic. On the lines of, it doesn't really have a tongue and like bottom gums. You know what I mean? And a baby with a gaping mouth, like you would see a tongue and bottom gums. So it really, really just gets on her nerves. So, yeah. She's like, I like the doll with the pacifier in its mouth. <laughs> I'm like, of course you do. Of course you do. Why are we having difficulties getting... Why am I having difficulties getting the pacifier in your mouth? Now he's like, oh yeah, you're going to talk crap. You're going to talk mess about my mouth? Well, I'm not going to let you put the pacifier in it. <laughs> there we go. Yay! I hope you guys are excited about the new addition. I am. I really like him a lot. You guys ready to cheat again? We are looking for the turtle, the clownfish, or the blue tangfish. And there is a cheat sheet. Let me show you. So apparently, there's numbers on each one of the balls. And that number tells us what we need. There's number 18. We want numbers 23, 8, or 10. So let's see if we can find them. Let's hope this goes fast. Okay, so we're looking on the wrapper is a number that's supposed to be written in pencil, as you saw with the last one, or some kind of pencil-like thing. That's 16. 14. Oh my god, 23. That should be the turtle. I want the freaking turtle. This should be the clownfish and the turtle. Let's see if our cheat sheet worked. 
That one said number 23. We tried to rub it off because it literally looks like pencil. So this should be the turtle. Let's go ahead and open this up. What do we have in here? Ha! It worked! We got our turtle! Oh my gosh, look at how cute and adorable he is. Right here is his little aquarium. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. Let's see what he has to put in there. Oh, he's got pink rocks. How cute! And these are like little white uh, rocks, like little garden rocks. Those are adorable. This one's number seven, so it should be the clownfish. All right, well, that is not the clownfish. Oh, I'm so depressed. That said number seven on there. So yeah, what number is this lavender candle? Let's check that out. So the clownfish was number seven. The candle is 17. Look, there is a micro number one right there. So that's number 17. So the, the cheat sheets work. Just be careful and don't mistake in that as part of the seven's top coming down. Ugh. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to stay safe, stay positive, and we will be back soon. Bye!